Hey creator, if you've been wondering how do I make a gang sheet, then this is the video for you. I'm going to break it down in a full tutorial, not just for one software, but two, because I know we all have our preferences. Before I get going, make sure you hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time I upload something new. As a reminder, every other week we cover topics from sublimation and DTF prints, so let's jump right in and begin these templates. All right, so we're going to start in Adobe Illustrator, but then we will bump over to Canva. I know so many creators utilize both platforms, and I'm not exclusive to that, so I'm covering all my bases here. No matter the software, we're always going to start by resizing our artboard. And your artboard's going to be the exact same size as the gang sheet that you are ordering. I'll go out on a limb here and say 90% of the gang sheets that you purchase are going to be 22 inches wide, but you do want to check with your specific vendor to make sure that's correct. Then you will see that you order within your height. And most of the time you order in feet, but you do have to input this in inches. So the most popular gang sheet ordered on the market is 22 inches by five foot, which is 60 inches. You want to make sure that your orientation is always in portrait mode. If not, you would have to flip the sizing. I don't even want to get into that. But down here at the bottom, these are your specs on the printing quality. So you want to make sure that it is for the printing, which is the CM, whatever that says. And then the quality should always be high. The 300 PPI, this is best for printing, especially on commercial levels. It's going to make sure that everything translates perfectly. At that point, you'll select create. And you'll see that this blank page here is your artboard or your gang sheet, whatever you would like to call it here. I prefer to zoom all the way out so I can look at the huge picture all at once, nothing's overlapping, and kind of critique things as I go. At this point, it is time to find our graphics. And for me, I'm not like always sitting down creating my graphics, so I'm a huge fan of Creative Fabrica. Um, I do have the subscription. This isn't a sales pitch, but the reason I choose to use the subscription is because all of these come to you for $19.99 a month or, you know, whatever you're purchasing, whatever bundle you get, um, you have full access to these. You do get to use them at a commercial rate. So that means I can print these and then go ahead and resell them. There are SVG files, PNG files, patterns, fonts, literally everything you could imagine. So it's really simple to use. It's $19.99 a month. I personally don't have to go on Etsy and individually buy every single graphic. So this is what I've navigated towards. And if you're looking for something, give this a try. But once you find your graphics that you're looking for or that you would like to upload onto your gang sheet, simply go in, select download. All of these files come in a zip file. You cannot upload a zip file into Adobe Illustrator. It needs to be unzipped and extracted. So that's what we're going to do here. It's a real simple process. If you don't know how, you just click on the file and then click on the image or whatever file you'd like to extract and put it into a folder that you can easily find. I use my downloads, but some people are a little bit more organized than me. Today, we are going to do two different graphics because I just want to show you that the gang sheet doesn't have to be filled with one full sheet of the same color, same graphic, same size, all of that. I will say for some of these, there's multiple, you know, files in here. I remove those files because I don't have so much storage on my computer. So go ahead and kick that out and then extract that photo or the PNG file. Once again, I'm going into my downloads, but you can be organized if you'd like. Over here, it's time to import your design. This is so easy. But the one thing I will say is Adobe likes to be a lot different than everybody else. And instead of like upload or import, it likes to call itself place. So just place your image into the artboard. Once again, I don't have a lot of room here. So I like to grab those two zip files that we've already extracted. Just get those guys out of here and click delete. Then select both of your images at the same time. If you don't know how, click one, control, and then click the other one. Hit open and you have both of your art pieces on the same click. Simply click one, it drops, click the other, it drops. And it'll drop at whatever sizing it was uploaded at. So we do need to go back in and resize these. A rule of thumb, if you're working with adult size shirts, I would say anywhere from small to extra large, a good width is about 10 to nine and a half inches, depending on the size. I will say I always size at the width and not the height because you don't want it to be way too wide and then sitting in the armpits. That's a little bit weird. <laughs> Only because I've been doing this for so long, I already know that working with five foot of gang sheet, I can fit roughly 12 adult sized images, but I recommend starting out by row. Tackle each row at once. That means you're going to have six rows of two. This first row, I grabbed my original graphic and we're going to love copy and pasting here copy and paste and put it right next to your original graphic. 
This is going to save you a lot of headache later when your gang sheet comes in, but just take the time to do this step. Select both images and align them to the center. That way when you cut these apart, and if you even want to use a paper cutter, it's going to make your life so much easier. As you can see, you need to grab these and pull these as far up as possible without getting them over the edge. You do not need a huge margin here. If you're paying for the whole gang sheet, utilize the whole gang sheet. You may not believe me here, but as hard as that step wasn't, that was the hard part and you're already through it. Now there's just a lot of copy and pasting. You'll select your first row and then copy and paste it down. And because I know I'm doing eight of these, I'm not even going to bother with the two and two and two. I'm going to copy the entire four section and then just paste it down below. One thing I will mention to just keep an eye out for, make sure none of these are overlapping. Zoom in, zoom out, just double check. When you submit these to the print shops, they're super busy. They're not looking at your gang sheet. They're not going to reach out to you and say, hey, this is overlapping. They are just going to print your sheet. So double check everything before submission. Now here, I just wanted to show you that you can use whatever designs. You can use a hundred different designs. You can do two different designs. You can do all different sizes, but for this, we'll just do all adult sizing. The point I'm trying to make here is if it fits, it prints. So as long as it fits on this and nothing's overlapping and it's not hanging off the edges, it's going to print. Now, as you can see, there is some white section at the bottom. If you have tags, small decals, pocket size decals, fit them in there. Utilize all of this. You're paying for all of this. But for purposes of this video, I don't really have any small designs. So I select the entire artboard and then just center it. Once again, it's going to make it a lot easier when you cut them apart, but it's not going to be like life changing if you don't. Before we save and extract everything, I like to go through and make sure I can get scissors in between these graphics without any problem. If the answer is yes, then we are ready to move over to the next section. This will vary depending on what print service you go through, but I have yet to find one that doesn't ask for either a PNG or a PDF file. First, we will simply save a PDF file just by going to file and save as. This is super easy and there's no extra steps. One thing I will say is I always save it to my computer. That way I just have a hard copy of it. For some reason, I just, I don't know, my millennial brain says that's, you know, safer. It's probably not. <laughs> but make sure you save it to whatever, you know, file is easiest for you. But this is the kicker. For the print shop and for yourself to stay organized, make sure you label this, whatever you're going to call it, and add the size. That way everybody can just see, okay, this is what they ordered and this lines up with this. Then at the bottom, you want to change the AI, I think is what it said, to PDF file and select save. This window is going to pop up on Adobe. I don't know if it pops up on everybody. Some it does, some it doesn't. Make sure all of these checks are selected and then hit save PDF. Now we are going to export a PNG file, but please remember that for PNGs, you want them to be transparent. So you'll go to the top, select view, and then show transparent grid. This is going to remove all of that white. So just leave your graphic behind and that's all we want to print. Then you'll select file and export. You don't wanna hit save as, you wanna select export and then export as. Here, I just keep the same exact title and then down at the bottom, I already have PNG selected because I always save them this way, but there's actually a huge list of different ways you could save these just so you know, but for this purpose, we're just going to select PNG. Now there is another box. We need to make sure that the quality is always high, 300 PPI. You wanna make sure it says transparent and then select okay. My computer takes about 30 seconds to export and then it's totally available and you are ready to upload these files to whatever print shop. So let me teach you about Canva. Are you ready? Canva is a web-based platform and most of us know about her, but if you don't, allow me to introduce you to her. She is a free or paid platform and you just need to create an account and then go into create design. All the way at the bottom, you'll see a place that says custom design, one of my favorite places. But you'll notice it automatically sizes it at pixels. Mm, we want to do inches. Remember, our gang sheet is in inches. Then we will change the height and the width. Remember, width is always 22. And for this, since we're ordering at five foot, we are going to input 60 inches. I do want to mention here for those who may be ordering larger gang sheets, Canva does not allow us to do huge projects. So if you're doing five foot, you're safe, but often I order at 16 foot, which is 192 inches, I believe, and I cannot create this in Canva. Other than that, you are safe, but wanted to mention. Now you are in your artboard, your gang sheet, whatever you want to call it. 
at the top, I select right in this little box and add my title. Remember, put your title, something everyone can understand, and include your template sizing. That way you and the print shop know exactly what you ordered, exactly the size, and everything matches up. On the left-hand side, there's a toolbar. You will select upload, and then you just upload your files. Super easy. Canva makes everything very beginner friendly, very easy to understand. It may take a couple moments to upload your files, but you can check to see if they're complete on the left-hand toolbar. Once that's all the way filled, you are good to go. Then you want to jump in and select your first graphic. If you watch the first portion of this video, it's basically going to be the same exact thing. The only thing I don't prefer about Canva is when you go to resize it, you have to kind of drag and drop and really finesse it to get the perfect sizing. Now, if you're over 0.1 or under 0.1, I don't think it matters, but for me and my brain, I just need it to be at that 10 inch mark. If you ever upload a graphic and you're like, man, I don't know if it's actually transparent, you can always select the backboard, change the color, and then that's going to show you if it is transparent or if there's a white box. Okay, back to building the gang sheet. So as I mentioned earlier, at five foot, you can usually fit around 12 adult size logos. So that means we are going to have six rows of two wide. So I like to start in my first row. Copy and paste your image and completely center them or align them to the center. Canva's nice because it has those guidelines. Adobe does too, but Canva's like very guideline oriented. If you're not sure, just select both, go to position and see if centered is grayed out. If it's grayed out, then it's dead on. You don't have to worry about it. At this point, we are in the game of copy and paste. Remember, think smarter, not harder. So once we get a four pack, knowing I'm just going to do eight, zoom out, copy all four, and then paste them down below. The only thing I'll mention once again is make sure nothing is overlapping and you can fit your scissors in between the graphics without cutting anything off. That's gonna be a lifesaver when they come in and you start the process. These gang sheets are great because you can literally upload anything you want, any size, as long as it fits, it prints, remember that. So we're gonna grab our second graphic and do the same thing we did at the top. And you will learn very quickly, creating a gang sheet is super easy. The hardest part is just making sure everything's lined up so that it's easier for you when you cut them apart and figuring out what sizes work best. Remember, we're working with adult size shirts. So the width is usually around 10 inches. You can play it safe with that. And it'll be a nice full graphic, not something Something like really small and is that supposed to be a pocket size or is that supposed to cover the whole shirt you know what I'm talking about we've all seen them anyhow you can skip this step but I just highly recommend doing it it's going to make things easier select the entire column center align it and then do that to the opposite column this is kind of going to line everything up so when you do cut these apart you're not missing anything and a paper cutter works a lot easier you've heard me say it a million times Grab everything and center and lock it to this page because we're not trying to fill room on the sides. And now we are ready to export and save our file. On the top right hand corner, Canva says share. You are going to share that file with, of course, yourself. The first thing that automatically pops up is a PNG file. So we're just going to extract the PNG file first. Now, please make sure that you do not forget to select transparent background. That's very important because if you send this without a transparent background, one, they may not print it. And two, if they do print it, it's going to have a solid white backing and you're not going to be able to use it. Now we need to jump in and do a PDF file. So right back through the same steps, but you will notice there is a PDF standard and a PDF print. We want PDF print. Now this next step is so important we need to change it from RGB to CMYK. And that's best for commercial printing. It's gonna give the best color, the best saturation, all of the things that we are looking for. You are now ready to send this to the print shop and get your gang sheet created. Make sure we are double checking all of our files before we send them out. We don't want anything to be overlapping and you are fully ready to tackle DTF prints. One more thing before I go, I know our community is filled with a lot of different types of creators. And you may be sitting on the other end of this computer thinking, I cannot figure this out. I'm not great with software and that's okay. Or you might be thinking, I don't have time to do this. I just want the template. That's okay. I do have the template for both Adobe and Canva. Both of those are fully ready to download, instant downloads. All you need to do is cut out the beginning portion and just add your graphics into there.
Another thing you can do is make sure that you save the template. So every time you're just opening the template, adding your graphics and extracting. I thought that was just a really simple way to give back to you guys. So you didn't have to actually create the template yourself. Now, once again, that's in our digital classroom. And if you don't know about our digital classroom, it is $9.99 a month, I believe. And it's just a community. And there is a paywall because I give you all the digital downloads. Every single Monday I come to you, I give you a list of coupons and codes and the best sales for the entire week. I'm always sure to add a couple freebies of digital artwork or graphic, and you do have first exclusive access on Saturday to our podcast. It doesn't hit YouTube until Sunday. Anyways, I really appreciate you just hanging out with me today, and I hope this tutorial truly helps you exceed in the DTF space. If you have any additional questions, if you're completely lost, if you think there is no way for you to make it through, please comment down below or please connect with me. I'm always here to help. And once again, my name is Kaylee and I hope you have the best day.